Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. I got my six, we now have my back because I have yours. Sorry, I know that was loud. We're going to pull from the Ascended Life Oracle. We're talking about ascension. We're talking about moving forward. We're talking about letting go of the past. We're not talking about we, if we have to learn from the past, it'll come out. And if we'll talk about how to get through it, then that's what we'll do. But we are not dwelling on the past and we are not reliving the past um, in a way of destruction. So secrets, yep. See the secrets of the past. Um, playfulness is here. Moving in silence. Hidden factors. Lack of communication. Not having all the facts. So you still are going to be you. Look at all the cards that come out. You have the key to success. That's what that is. The key, poor health. The past is causing you anxiety. The past is causing you sickness. The past is causing a lot of energies to where you're not being able to be your same playfulness, uh, playful self. And therefore, that's because there are secrets that are around you. We have the bridge. You need to build a bridge and get over it or... In other words, move on. There's a lot of hidden, hidden things. There's karmic justice that will happen, but that has nothing to do with you. You have to send strength and healing to people, and the anger is there. And right now, all it is about is your dreams and knowing that you have the key to move forward. This playfulness will come out, uh, will, will go away if you keep allowing the things that are hidden, the secrets that are there, um, to hold you back and to become anger, angry, excuse me, over the karmic justice that you feel like somebody should have. No, it's causing you anxiety and mental, mental stress. And so therefore you have to know that the dreams that you want, you have the key to be able to get them, but opens opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden. See access to what was hidden. You have to be patient. This is hidden here. I'm going to show you this is hidden, hidden en enemies, jealous, Hiding true intentions, being two-faced, um, time to time to work in silence. And again, it comes out twice, right? Moving in silence, working in silence. And it also has you having more fun and not taking life too seriously, enjoying the little things in life, and careful not to go overboard. But the hidden is always going to be there. The karmic justice will happen when it's time. You just have to be able to move forward and to see. But it says wrongs made right. You will be vindicated. It says getting what you deserve. And it says learning karmic lessons. And uh, the anger is here. The anger says feel, uh, you feel you've been wronged. Arguments, disagreements, temper, egos, and clash. And it says pent up anger. So this is how you feel. You've been dealing with somebody that you just can't understand why, you know, you have to go through this. But it's time for another phase of your life. It's a transition of the death energy. Um, death is not um, the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. Let me read it to you the right way. I have it right here. It says, um, oh, if I can read it, hold on. It's kind of small. It says, um, Embrace change and let go of what no longer serve you. Death is the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And that's what the new beginnings are, is when you learn to understand you can't take everything too seriously. You have to have more fun, and you have to move forward and go after your dreams. You cannot let somebody cause you to get sick. Let's read poor health. Poor health is um, ne neglecting health, health needs assessments, mental health conditions, and addictive habits. And so... You need to let go of the addictive habits is codependent energies, the things that you cannot change, the things that um, probably don't serve you, but you keep, you're so used to going and dealing with certain situations that you continuously do that. So I'm going to pull tarot here, but let me see. Let me pull from, let's see. What card? I'm, I'm going to pull from the emotional the true em oh my cards just fell over right there the true emotional deck to see what comes out because yeah you have to understand that what no longer serves you is nothing you can do about it the universe has a way of taking things and making things you know uh yeah 
see the universe has a way of taking things and saying you know what um, I'm going to pull this energy back from this person so that yeah okay. so the way that <laughs> let's talk about it wait I'm going to pull this energy back from another person and um, pull your energy back so that you can work on yourself so unexpected endings happen not not the death energy meaning that you have to be able to send strength and healing and work on yourself because you have the key to make all your dreams come true but if this comes with uh, divorce, criminal uh, paternity, it says tra child support and traffic ticket or the love of a child. If a child is making you stay, the universe is saying it's time to not make excuses and to move forward because the coping mechanisms come with poor health, meaning alcohol happens, you know, somebody leaves you hanging, no closure, no contact, and the bro uh, left on red, so somebody won't treat you or give you the answers that you are, you're expecting or that you need. So the only other action is to take action, and that is by a legal separation, a divorce. That is by you just moving on in your own uh, way, uh, whether it serves you or not. And sometimes it is crossing that bridge and moving forward to a different city and doing things that you probably wouldn't normally do. I'm going to clarify secrets here. This card tried to come over. Five of Cups, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. So you know the secrets. Nobody's hiding the secrets from you. You already know what it is, and you just have to be able to understand that at some point, the only thing you can do is walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And yes, it's easier said than done, but the hardest part is, oh, look at that, the three of swords. Hold on, I'm moving my microphone. The hardest part of letting go or moving on is to actually their opinion or not only that the hardest part is actually doing it once you get out there and you take that leap of faith what happens is that everything starts to fall into place and that is when the easy part happens and yes you will be sad or you will have to figure out but the coping mechanism is not alcohol it's not drugs sorry about that it's not alcohol it's not drugs it's learning how to deal and how to cope with heartbreak the three of uh, swords energy is heartbreak, emotional pain, and it's grief, but it also is hurt, but you have to learn how to get through this type of energy, learn from it. No man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher, person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson, and the lesson is that you have no, um, you have no uh, way of dealing with the person that has wronged you or made you feel some type of way. You have no... Uh, Sorry, no way of, I'm moving those cords. You have no way of trying to get a person back. The only thing you can do is send strength and healing and move from there. And that's where you're, you'll, go, you'll start to take your, um, your energy back and not take things too seriously and move forward because you know what the secrets are. They don't have to be in, in, in plain sight for you to be able to um, get it. You just have to have the courage to ace and wants energy. You just have to have the courage to be able to create, to be able to go after your desires and have the willpower to do it. But again, to be that fun, playful person, building a bridge and getting over it, another phase of life. This is what another phase of life looks like. You recognizing your strengths and the hidden is the secrets and things like that. That has nothing to do with you the way somebody tells uh no, we haven't watched the parade. Okay, my baby is at Disneyland. But uh, anyway, hold on. Let me see what she's saying. Hold on. Let me read this really fast. Hold on. Okay, so, you know, when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, the cycle is just keep going. It keeps going around and around and around and around. And the thing is, is that, you keep going with the flow, but at this point, you question based upon what's hidden from you. You cannot worry about what's hidden from you. The Wheel of Fortune also lets you know that when it comes to you feeling like it's negativity around you or, you know, that you're not able to focus uh, or things are getting out of control, you start to look at things as, is this good or bad luck or karmic energy and things like that when you have no control over that. The only thing you have control over is the things that you do you know, and the way that you feel and reaching a turning point from there. So I'm going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. 
Yeah, you. the only thing you can do is just to keep moving forward and, yeah, set boundaries. This is you understanding that, you know, at some point when it comes to you get into a situation to where you have to look at things from a different point, a different perspective, you have to realize that it's time to set boundaries. It's time to set boundaries with the nine of wands. So once you start to feel like you're having the bad karma and there's all type of bad energies here and there, you have to realize that those secrets are left are need to be left wherever they are. And there's no need for you to explore that. You have to move forward and continue to uh, do things and not just go with the flow anymore, you know, and just roll with it. You have to understand what, you know, whatever karmic justice is, the rights will be made wrongs or wrongs will be made right. And You'll be vindicated no matter what. You just cannot keep holding on to this negative energy or this, um, you know, um, sadness or anger and things like that. You have to learn karmic lessons, which means that you have to let go of those situations. And it's nothing that you can do. Whatever somebody does, they're going to get whatever it is. But that has no control over you. Send strength and healing because you're not going to put that negative energy out. You don't want to wish, oh, somebody is an alcoholic or somebody is going to do this and this is going to happen if somebody left you hanging nine times out of ten that's on them that's something that they have to deal with it has nothing to do with you so yeah all you can do is just send strength and healing to a person that especially when you have to set boundaries and when you take the courage and go out and do things then things start to look a little different and either if this is your the situation that you're going through because somebody left you hanging if you're drinking overly or excessively because you're going through something you know, that that's the reason why I say you need to look at Codependent No More by Melody Beattie. Um, Codependent No More is about how we become codependent like the Queen of Pentacles and we start to take care of the people um, who sometimes no longer serve us or the people we need to learn lessons and learn how to let people go through their own things. But us as empaths, we're not able to do that. The Queen of Pentacles energy is a loving family. It's one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. So when JDS Terrell said years when we year you know when I started watching him that the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself, it was something that kind of stuck with me. And when it's like uh, protect and care for them no no matter what, no matter how they treat you, and no matter how it is, protect and care for them, which causes you know health situations, and that's when it causes for you to have to know that things no longer serve you, and to have the courage and recognize your strengths because. Nine times out of ten, if I cut you off, you I hand, you handed me the scissors because I'm not going around and wishing karma on anybody. Or I'm not going around treating people and uh, leaving them hanging, giving them no closure. But sometimes you have to link, leave the same person hanging that left you hanging. And not facetiously, but you have to do that because of the fact that you have to take care of your own stuff. And whether it's a love of a child or a childish person, um, this is what's more important is a love of a child and loving your health and yourself. So let's clarify the karmic justice. Rights will be made, wrongs will be made right. You know, you'll be vindicated. So the karmic justice, you don't care about karmic, karma energy. You just need to get away from the karmic people that's been in your life. And so sometimes it's easier said than done. Yeah, the moon energy. You have to face your fears. And you have to understand and have balance, temperance energy. So the moon energy is remembering, and the temperance energy is just at letting you find balance. You have to find balance in that fear. The moon energy can be fears. The moon energy can be, you know, illusions. It can be anxiety, like I said in the beginning. It can be all of those different things. But in order for karmic justice to happen or for you to not worry about what will happen in the future, see, because Karmic justice is, look at this, look at the scales. It's the scales here, the same thing. So it could be legal matters or it could be consequences of somebody's actions, with this, which is the justice energy, doing the right thing. The karmic justice is you doing the right thing no matter how much you've been wrong. And if this is happening, that has nothing to do with you because you haven't wronged anybody. So you have to understand what your fears are and balance out the scales and understand that there needs to be balance. And that's where the scales are and that's where you pouring from one cup into another. You can't keep pouring into an empty cup. And that's what you've been doing. People, you've been pouring out all of your energy into and filling everybody else's cup up and you've been in, uh, yours has been empty so you've been angry feeling you've been wrong you know same thing as karmic justice you know but again justice comes 
you consequences of somebody's actions. But again, you have to do the right thing. It has nothing to do with anybody else. These these um, scales could be cord scales. They could be you balancing out your chakras. It could be any of those types of things. But the thing is, is that you have to do the work and have balance within yourself in order for you to realize that your dreams only come true when you go after them. You're, you, oh, uh, Maze, love is the key. I don't know if you guys are over a particular age. You know, those are my daddy's best friends. But um, if you um, know that song, love is the key. And that's the thing not coping, not not worrying about what somebody's going to get or what happens. You have no control over the law, but you're under grace and not under law. So no matter what happens, your energy is different. So let's clarify the dreams. Let's clarify your dreams. Okay, that card tried to come over. Emperor energy, yeah. Stability. You want stability. You want to be able to go with the flow. Hold on one second. Okay, so, yeah, I just, when I see this card coming over, you want stability. You want to, you know, you have the strength, again, uh, but the emperor energy is that you have to be able to understand that you have to respect yourself first, emperor energy. To go after your dreams, it takes for you to have to respect yourself and to set priorities, to be set standards, to not let anybody cross your boundaries, to understand and recognize your strengths. But you have to also understand that, yeah, Three of Swords comes back out, but it comes out with heartbreak. You can't doubt this if your heart is broken, you know. Um, if you get to a point to where you're trying to, you know, mend your broken heart or there is negative self-talk happening at the same time of you trying to grow and um, be, you know, sad and hurt and emotional um, and all of these different things, you have to be able to forgive yourself. You have to have optimistic energies, which is where... I thought the star card was here, but I guess it's not. Why did I think the star card was out? Which is where you have to be optimistic, and that's the star energy, you know? So you have to be optimistic and have faith when it comes to certain situations. But if somebody is leaving you that way, this is a problem that they have with themselves. It has nothing to do with you. And so that's the reason why. I'll clarify the three of swords energy. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you, you know? Um, with the moon energy, again, you have to remember what you did. Remember how you treated this person and remember that you did no wrongs. You made everything the way it needed to be. And no matter how you felt, unsure energy, again, comes out with the king of cups. Your empathetic nature has to be put on the back burner. The king of cups energy, when it's in the upright, it just lets you know that there is emotional con uh, control or some type of balance. But if it's in the reverse, it's coldness, it's, you know, manipulation, it's moodiness. This is what this energy is causing, anger. Where is it at? Anger. And so the uh, only thing you have to understand is that you need to do the right thing and know that what stability, ha what happens when you need stability, uh, emperor energy, is that you need to respect yourself and your boundaries because you have the key to be able to move forward. Five of Cups energy, the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. And at the same time, you have to understand that you are disappointed and you regret, but it has nothing to really do with you moving on. It has to do with the treatment that you allow people to do. And then from that, you have to move forward. You know, and so I'll clarify the King of Cups and the Three of Swords. You have to move forward. More unsure energy. So you're, if you don't move forward, your manifestation, the magi magician energy, the uh, ten of wands, the burdens, and the three of wands, the direction that you need to go into, you know, um, is all going to be blurry. There's no growth that's going to be here. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be delays. You know, there's going to be, when it comes to everything, you're going to be stressed out. You're going to be burnt out. Your, your health is going to get the best of you. And the magician energy, there's no manifestation when you are, are uh, feeling some type of way about somebody else's, uh, about somebody else's, you know, energy, negative energy. And so that's where you have the key, yeah, overthinking about somebody else's energy. You have the key to be able to do the things that you want. You just have to have faith and know that Ten of Cups energy, it's right there. Just be patient and understand that, Karmic justice has nothing to do with you. 
feeling some type of way, okay, yeah, but you have to move forward. The only thing that you can do in the process of that, process of that is love your inner child, love your child if that's there, love yourself, and understand if you don't do those things, your health is going to dwindle down too, and the Hierophant energy and nothing bad, but this is your belief system, the Hierophant energy. This is you learning, unlearning to relearn, and that's what you have to do in order to have a healthy come out of it on the healthy side. You have to unlearn to relearn and realize that somebody leaving you hanging has nothing to do with you. That does not balance out anything. It only causes anxiety. It causes friction. But if you want the Ten of Cups types of energy, you have to understand for inner happiness, for having your dreams come true, and to fulfill those things, you have to be happy within yourself. And that's the key that you need to know when it comes to playfulness and having the courage to go after the things that you want and going after your dreams, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's where that comes in at. Hold on, we're going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and also from the chakras. If you want to know the, the meanings, my per, per, uh, perception of what the chakras are and also the meanings of the four agreements, click up above. That's the link. My hands are, my nails turned darker because I dyed my mom's hair and I need my nails done. But there you have it. Hold on one second. Okay, so pulling from the four agreements, we have don't take anything personal and rainbow moonstone. So don't take anything personal. What somebody does, leaving you hanging, like I just said, this whole reading, um, everyone lives their own dream, right? Your dream is to have whatever you want, and somebody else's dream might to be all of these different things and have negative energy around them. All people live in their own dreams, in their own mind. They are in completely different worlds from the one we live in. And so you have to know that, that this has nothing to do with you. This is something that somebody needs to heal on their own. And that's why I say send strength and healing to them, period, because it's nothing that you can do. If they have childhood issues, if it, they need to change their belief system and unlearn to relearn about what they learned in the past, it's going to cause you anxiety. When somebody is ready to change, they will change. That's why, and respectfully, just I say this not to be facetious, a lot of nine times out of ten, when you leave a person, they turn around and do everything you taught them to do with another person because they realize that they were screwed up and you taught them the way, or they keep trying to come back and they never grow. So the rainbow moonstone is all the chakras. So you need to focus on all of your chakras. And this is emotional balance back to where I said three times it came out. The scales, justice karmic justice, and also legal matters. These cards are letting you know that you need to have balance. And no matter what it is that this person goes through, the consequences of your actions weren't the same. And so with, again, the justice energy, you need to understand you did the right thing. So in this situation, whatever comes up, it says wrongs made right, you will be vindicated, getting what you deserve, and learning karmic lessons. And also, you feel you've been wronged with the anger. This anger energy is because you are feeling some type of way. But if you did everything right, then you have nothing to worry about. So it's emotional balance, it's intuition, and it's serenity. All the chakras, the rainbow moonstone. And it says, I am balanced and in tune with my emotions. And that's because you're learning that you have the key to go after your dreams. And no matter what, everybody has a different dream. So you have to be able to understand that and unlearn to relearn. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.